Hello and welcome to this brief introduction to Hawaii Analyzer, the new image analysis plugin that goes beyond the standard scopes and allows you to focus in on the detail of your shot for really accurate results. The problem with our eyes is that they can easily fool us into believing a colour is something it's not, either because of its proximity to other colours or simply because that's what we're expecting it to be. In this example, the foreground boxes are not changing colour at all, it's only the background, but the chances are your brain is telling you something quite different. Let's look at what Analyzer makes of all this. If we sample one of these central boxes, we can see there's no change in the value. Whereas if I now switch to sampling the background, we can see the values are changing wildly from frame to frame. Hawaii Analyzer is available for Apple's Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion 5, as well as Adobe Premiere and After Effects, but we're going to be taking a look at it in Final Cut Pro 10. The key thing to notice about Hawaii Analyzer is that whereas traditional scopes give you feedback about the entire frame, with Analyzer you can be very specific about the area you're targeting. In addition to sampling the entire frame, you can also choose a specific area or a very specific set of pixels and this makes for far greater precision and ease of use. OK, so let's look at an example. I've got a shot on my timeline that's a little bit too blue. Let's drag Analyzer on top of the clip and see what it shows us. The red, green and blue colour bars over here on the left hand side give me a readout of the sampled values. I'm going to set these controls to frame and average so we can see the average values for the entire frame. And that confirms that we are in fact too blue. If the shot had been properly white balanced, those colour bars would be much more even. But in this particular case, I want to sample a very precise region. So I'm going to turn on the point mode, turn on the loop, which brings up this magnifying glass. And let's just set the point size to 5 by 5 pixels. So we're not sampling just a single pixel and potentially getting a rogue value. What I'm going to do here is use a really cool feature of Hawaii Analyzer, which is the skin analysis function. Let's just switch the mode from integer to decimal, so the display changes at the top here. And in skin analysis mode, our alpha bar changes to a skin analysis bar. And when our bar is at full height, we can be pretty sure that we've got our skin tones lined up. So let's just head over here and grab a sample of this girl's leg. And we'll jump into the Final Cut Pro 10 color corrector. And let's pull our mid-tones over towards blue and reduce the amount of blue we've got in the shot. And as we do that, you can see that skin analysis bar is creeping up. Just going to grab the highlights puck as well, move that over to blue and reduce that. And you can see our bar is now getting pretty close to one. And if we jump back and toggle that correction on and off, you can see that's worked out pretty well. Now to confirm that we've got our skin tones pretty much correct, let's turn on another useful feature which is the swatch full screen. And if we bring up our scopes and select vector scope, we can see that that is now pretty much bang on that skin tone line. Swatch full screen basically shows the sampled colour as a full screen. If I then come back and turn off my correction, you can see that that skin sample is well off. Turn it back on again, and we're bang on. Now that we've seen how it works, let's have a look at some of the controls in a little bit more detail. As you've probably seen, there are three main components to the Analyzer on-screen interface. There's the sampler, and when we're in point mode, we've also got access to this loop or magnifying glass, and we'll look at the functionality of that a little bit later. Let's change the display size to large so we can see these controls a little bit better. At the top of the screen, we've got a numerical readout for the red, green, blue, luma and alpha channels and a colour swatch that represents the current sample. And these numerical values are in the 0 to 255 range. So a value of 255 is 100% for that channel. But as we also saw, we can come down to the mode here in the values and graphs section and switch to decimal, in which case we will get a decimal value for those channels. 
you can see that the alpha has a value of 1, which is at 100%. Over on the left-hand side, these numerical values are represented by these bars in this graph. So we have a bar for red, a bar for green, a bar for blue, a bar for luma, and the bar for alpha. The alpha reaches the top of the screen because it has a value of 1. As you saw, if we switch to the skin analysis mode down here, the alpha bar changes colour and as we saw, it tells us whether our sample is within tolerance for skin tone. Next, let's look at the modes. There are three different ones. The first is point, and in point mode, we are looking at a single pixel or a matrix of pixels. We can choose the size of the sample from the point size menu here. So we can go from one pixel to three by three, five by five, 9x9 nine nine or 15x15, fifteen fifteen. and we can see what we're sampling from the guide. But we can also select Set Point Size, and in this case, we can use the Set Point Size slider to increase or decrease the grid of pixels being sampled. Now let's look at the Area Sampling mode, and when we switch to that, you'll see that I get a rectangle with on-screen controls at opposite corners. And the advantage of this is that I'm not restricted to a square matrix, and I can drag out any area that I choose. And finally, let's have a look at the frame mode. And as you'd expect, that is sampling the entire frame and giving us the average values. Let's come back to area sampling. And Let's look at the value option here. And as you can see, the default operation for Analyzer is to return the average value of the sampled area. But I can also select min or max. If I switch to min, this will return the minimum value pixel for each channel within the sampled area. And similarly, if I switch to max, that will give me the maximum value pixel for each channel. Finally, let's look at the loop controls in a little bit more detail. I'm just going to scroll down here on the inspector, and you'll notice we can turn the loop on and off by hitting its checkbox. We can also enable or disable the guide within the loop. Let me quickly switch to a larger matrix of 15 by 15 so we can see that. You can see that the guide is showing us the sample. I can select the degree of zoom from the drop-down menu here, so I can really fine-tune my selection very accurately. I can even set the zoom value up to a value of 6400, so that's very very close indeed, and in this case you can clearly see the individual pixels and know that you've got exactly the right one. Let me set my point size back to 1, and you can see the guide is showing us just that one precise pixel. Finally, I wanted to show you that there's another module within Analyzer. If we come over to the browser, that's the histogram module. Let me drag that onto this clip so we can see that. You'll see I've now got a histogram superimposed over the image. Let me increase the size just so we can see it a little bit better, and I'll position it over to the left. Now the histogram is sampling the entire frame here, but I can get it to sample an area, and that's where this has a major advantage over a standard histogram. So now the histogram is giving me the results of that specific sample. And the nice thing about it is I can adjust the vertical scale for very precise granularity. And I can also turn on the background, which gives me a grid that shows me very precisely what my histogram is actually doing. So that's an overview of the main features of Hawaii Analyzer. There are obviously a number of features that I haven't had time to show you, but we'll be able to look at those in subsequent tutorials when we'll be looking at various use case scenarios for the plugin. 
Hawaii Analyzer is available exclusively through Effects Factory, which means that you can download a free trial version and try it out for yourself right now. Thanks very much indeed for watching.